So in this video, we are going to see user accounts, like multiple users, how they can uh, use the same machine. Like this is my account and my son figured out my password just by observing me for, and now he logs in and make, uh, uh, like I don't like it. <laughs> so this is good great way of documenting and create an account for him so let's go and first log in to my account and no i don't uh, write my uh, password uh, like one key at a time that he could figure it out he just uh, figured out from the saved password within the uh, google chrome uh, that was very smart of him so actually he went in there in the saved password and he clicked on it and I don't know uh, I it probably was before that uh, Google introduced the change where you have to re-enter your password before somebody can change the, uh, so, uh, sorry somebody can look uh, the saved password but probably it was around that time when he saw and now because uh, for generic purpose I use this password uh, for like uh, these uh, uh, study related things like educational purposes so he figured out this one password and he <laughs> tries this one uh, pretty often too all right so uh, once you can see that i'm logged in now and uh, to create more accounts you will actually have to go into the system preferences and you will click on users and groups seems like uh, in windows so if i go in here you can see that it's pretty straightforward just my account you can add more account there is actually a guest user as well but uh, notice that it's grayed out so to add anything and it will be uh, pretty much same for anything if you're adding into mac it will be a plus sign over here that you can actually use to add different services but even that plus sign is grayed out the reason being is that it's locked and this lock you will, wherever you will find is an equivalent of windows uac user account control and once you click on it if you can i don't know if it's uh, my screen capture is uh, uh, uh screen recording is capturing it or not but actually it's asking me to enter the password in windows base uh, you don't see the UA uac dialog box uh, so I have unlocked it now you can see everything is not grayed off anymore and I can add another account I'm gonna press this uh, plus sign I'm gonna give it his name and that's the account name and that's his name and I have three options admin standard and sharing only sharing only basically kind of guest account but it's it has a little bit more privileges I'm gonna keep it standard and for the password you can choose to make it a password or not I'm gonna give it just a generic password and you can create a user now with any luck that account is there now if I were to go and click on add it I can do different bits of uh, related uh, settings for example photos oh he like what photos belongs to him probably he was uh, uh facetiming with one of his uh oh, cousins all right so current and defaults so these are the different pictures that you can choose and this this one is pretty neat <laughs> or red one let's go with this so that's the profile picture you can change you can do different settings from th by clicking added moments collection years oh these are basically all the for the profile picture nothing else there and the login options are right here so you can see that list of users names and password so display login how you want to list of users is when you have like maybe one or two user or five you don't want 15 users name popping up on, across your screen and uh, these are different like show the sleep start button you want it to be shown on the screen or not we are uh, login we are talking about the login screen input menu 
login window like what you want on the login menu and there are some accessibility options if somebody is having uh, those uh, needs you can configure this device for that and if you were to go ahead and uh, delete this user I believe you click on that username and then you click this minus sign and that will essentially delete that user I don't want to do that actually I want to go ahead and log into that account uh, so we can simply click uh, out of it and we're gonna use the logout now it's logging me out it's asking me 